Okay, adding and subtracting radicals. The rule, the radicand must be exactly the same to add and subtract, just like variables. So you know when we did combining like terms back in, oh, I don't know, chapter 1, um, x plus 5x, we have 1x plus 5x, that gives you 6x, okay? But if you have like 3x plus 4y, that you can't combine those. That doesn't give you 7 of anything. You have 3x's and 4y's, and you can't combine them. So the same thing with radicals. When we have something like 1 root 2 plus 5 root 2, now we have 6 root 2's. Okay? So you just simplify what's on the outside. The inside stays the same when you are adding and subtracting just like with variables. So negative 5 root 6 plus 8 root 6, negative 5 plus 8 is 3 root 6. 5 root 2 plus 7 root 2, well 5 plus 7 is 12 root 2, and then minus 6 root 2, 12 minus 6 is 6 root 2. Here, 6 root 11 plus 2 root 11 is 8 root 11, and then minus 9 root 11, 8 minus 9 is negative 1 root 11. You do not need the negative 1 there, but you can have it. So it would be negative root 11 or negative 1 root 11. Now, when we are combining, sometimes they aren't the same. So on this one, you have to find like terms. Well, with 5 root 11, we can combine negative 6 root 11. 5 minus 6 is negative 1 root 11, or just negative root 11. And then we have plus 4 root 7. Okay, the next one, find your like terms. 15 root 3 can combine with minus 11 root 3. 15 minus 11 is 4 root 3. And then we have negative 14 root 5 plus 6 root 5. Negative 14 plus 6 is negative 8 root 5. Okay, just like with variables, all right? It's the same thing. Now, sometimes you might have to simplify if they are unlike radicands, you need to simplify and then perform the operation. So with 54 and 24, let's see. 54 reduces down 9 times 6, right? 9 is a perfect square that goes into it. Root 9 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12 root 6. Okay. We have 2 times 24 goes down to 4 times 6. So root 4 and root 6. Root 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 root 6. Now we can combine them. 12 plus 4 is 16 root 6. Okay. The next one with 12 and 48. So 12, perfect square that goes into 12 is 4. So square root of 4 is 2. We have 4 times 2, which is 8 root 3. And then 6 and 48, 48. 16 goes into that three times. So we have 6 times root 16 times root 3. Root 16 is 4. 6 times 4 is 24 root 3. So we have 8 root 3 minus 24 root 3 is negative 16 root 3. And the next one. 18 reduces down 9 times 2. So Square root of 9 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 6 root 2. Next one, 32, 16 goes into that, so 16 times 2. Root 16 is 4, so 2 times 2 is 8, or 2 times 4 is 8, so we have 6 root 2 plus 8 root 2. And then 72 is 36 times 2, so that is just 6 root 2. So now we can combine, 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20, root 2. The next one, 45. So the perfect square that goes into 45 is 9. So square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Perfect square that goes into 20 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so we have plus 2 root 5. And then this is a tough one, 245. So if you're not sure, think, okay, well they were both 5, so do 245 divided by 5, that's 49. Yep, 49 is a perfect square. 49 times 5. Square root of 49 is 7. 
So we have 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. So we have 4 root 5. And there you have it. The next page are your U-tries. So go ahead, have fun with those, and we'll see you next class.